Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting. Now, if you ever hooked up a trailer, you probably had to hook up some kind of lighting or wire harness to go along with it. You got two options. You can go and cut the wire harness and put a plug in there, or you can tee it in, but you're still going in parallel and you're putting a lot of resistance on the vehicle. So we got Jamie from Taconcha. Now, Jamie, the ZCI, Zero Contact Interface, this solves that problem. This is pretty phenomenal. Tell us a little bit about the product. That's right, uh, the ZCI uh, module, it delivers a four flat to your trailer uh, so you can illuminate the lights. But instead of uh, cutting or uh, snipping the wires, our product has uh, sensor ends. And you just simply lay the vehicle wiring uh, inside the sensor and snap it and the ZCI figures out uh, what you got going on. That's it? That That's easy? It. You mean I'm just gonna take it, can I unsnap it? That's right. Unsnap it, take the wire, we're gonna no lay it in there. No damage to the vehicle wiring at all. Hence the uh, snap, don't snip. That's right. So I'm an electrical guy, I understand electrons are running through this wire here, I mean, and that's creating a magnetic field, so this sensor's actually picking that up? That's correct. Well, how do we decipher between turn signals, park lights, or everything else? I see we got a lot of components here. There is a little bit of a challenge at the beginning during the installation. You do need to figure out what type of vehicle system you have. And if you follow the instructions, uh, you just hook up the uh, sensors accordingly and it'll do the rest. And what does it, the module here? That's right, there's a computer chip inside there that decodes your vehicle system. So we're not even tapping into the system, it's actually doing it all, it's sending the signals to turn the turn signals on and off, the brake lights and everything else? That's right. Well, it can't be that simple. Let's see it in action. Okay. Now we already did the passenger side of the vehicle, so we got that all together. So all we need to do now is just go ahead and wire this one up. We got the module tucked in, the wires fed through. Show me how simple it really is. Okay, so we, like you said, we were already uh, almost done with our installation. We've determined our uh, wiring type. So the yellow, yellow is uh, left turn, so we just simply uh, snap the uh, left turn sensor over the yellow wire. The white wire was determined to be the tail light sensor, so we just simply snap that over the white wire and we're all set. That's ready it? To, ready to uh, reinstall the light. Well, good, let's plug in and I'll give you a hand here. We'll reinstall the light. Now, what's a couple methods we can use to determine, and I know a schematic would be one, but how are we gonna know what turn signals go where? Yeah, sometimes uh, the vehicle schematics are hard to come by. Right. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to use a, uh, a fluke meter, a volt meter, right. uh, or an LED tester. Perfect. And that'll tell you exactly what's going on. Now, I'm a big fan of not cutting any wire, so I like, your, I like your motto. I know that's not going to cause any resistance or any problems, so I can't wait to see this thing work. Now, also, the module on this car, where did we locate that? Uh, we mounted it underneath the vehicle, uh, and so it's mounted and grounded uh, behind the rear uh, bumper fascia. The power wire was ran up to the front, and we do have to hook up to the vehicle's uh, battery power. Battery uh, so, power? Yeah, to power the module. Uh, and then the, uh, we had to run another leg over to the passenger side to pick up the right turn. So even though it's a computer module, it's going to go to sleep over time? Absolutely. Perfect. All right, well, let's give it a shot, see how it works. Oh, I'll plug it in, and yeah, you head in there and... Fire it up. Get it plugged in right here. All right. Hey, we got lights. Hit the brakes. Turn signal. Man, can't be that easy. Looks great. Awesome. That's very ingenious. Jamie, where can they find out some information about this product? You can go to teconcha.com, uh, T-E-K-O-N-S-H-A. You can find out more information about this and a, uh, a local installer to uh, buy the product from. Well, there you go. Go there and check it out.